You caught me watering my garden. This is my toaster patch. Oh, looks like this one's right. Did you know that last year, 791 people were killed by defective toasters, and only four people were killed by sharks? It makes you rethink toaster gardening a little bit, doesn't it? It also makes you rethink the shark, which is a good thing. Hi, I'm Laura Sams, and when I'm not growing small kitchen appliances, I'm solving riddles with my brother, Robert. Together, we are the riddle solvers, and we solve riddles about nature for five cents a piece. And I am excited to announce that our next episode of The Riddle Solvers is about sharks. Now, to gain insight into the public perceptions of sharks, I traveled to Florida to meet with some of the world's leading shark experts. Children, from a Sanibel Sea School summer science camp. Olivia, there's something behind your ear. Oh, it's my shark microphone. Hi, this is Laura reporting live from this spot on the beach with Matthew. I have a very important question for you. If you could be any kind of shark, what kind of shark would you be? Black tip. Whale shark. <laughs> Maybe a nurse shark or a whale shark because they're my favorite sharks. I would want to be a, a great white. If I could be any kind of shark, what kind of shark should I be? Mm, maybe. <laughs> Mako. Mm, bull shark. Bull shark? Yes. Why? You look like one. Why? You look like kind of a bull shark. <laughs> I look like a bull shark. <laughs> a whale shark. You a whale like shark? One. I look like a whale shark? <laughs> I look like a whale shark. <laughs> I'm going to use this shark to itch Luisa's nose. <laughs> That's funny. You may have noticed that I am holding a toaster. That's because every year more people are hurt by toasters than by sharks. Yeah. Are you afraid of this toaster? No. Are you sure you're not afraid of the toaster? I'm sure. What about now? No. <laughs> are you afraid to go in the ocean because of sharks? No. Are you afraid to go in the ocean because of toasters? <laughs> no. Do you ever have nightmares about toasters? No. Do you ever have nightmares about sharks? No. Do you ever have nightmares about sharks swimming around toasters? Are you afraid of toast? No. <laughs> Are you afraid of toast popping out of the toaster? Kind of. Yeah, that's fair. What if a shark popped out of your toaster? What would happen then? That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be... It'd be all flat. <laughs> Are you afraid to go in the ocean because of sharks? No. No. What about a shark carrying a toaster? Would you be afraid of that? No. Okay, are you afraid of sharks? No. You're not afraid of sharks? Nope. Why? Because they're more scared of us than we are of them. Which shark is most likely to be President of the United States? Maybe the whale shark, because he's nice and friendly. Okay, what about the President of France? <laughs> Maybe a bull shark. Bull shark. And just to recap, are you sure you're not afraid of toasters? <laughs> I'm sure. And you're sure you're not afraid of sharks with toasters? I'm sure. All right. Do you have anything you want to tell people about sharks? Well, when you see one, just don't be afraid or panic. Just stay there and they're, they're going to swim away because they're more afraid of you than you're afraid of them. Okay, you afraid of the toaster now? Now. All right.